Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and this afternoon I'm sitting here in the beautiful back or front yard uh, on just outside of town with Don McRae. Don is uh, has a catering company. What's the name of your catering company, Don? Custom Gourmet. Custom Gourmet uh, in Courtney here, and Don, you're part of the flavor event on September 23rd mm -hmm. in Black Creek. Can you um, tell me a little bit about how you got involved in that? It all started back when Beth and Avery from North Island College approached the North Island Chef Association and wanted us involved to help bring more exhibitors into the program mm -hmm. and get more chefs involved and more producers involved. Why would they ask so, you? And the Chef Association is a collaborative of all the chefs in the valley mm -hmm. and in Campbell River and the surrounding areas. So we've got a lot of resources in regard to that and I'm part of the executive on that group so when I, as soon as I heard it was happening I jumped on board. Now you're also going to be one of the exhibitors yourself, right? I am, yes. Uh, and the exhibitors are, you're paired up with somebody. Who are you paired up yeah, with? Yeah, I've been lucky to be paired up with Natural Pastor Cheese. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with them and we're going to create some few different things that you may not do with cheese normally. Yeah. Do you have any, any ideas? Can you give us any hints? Um, we're going to reinvent macaroni and cheese as one of them. Oh. So we're going to do a grilled panko crusted macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. the one with a little bit of a Using what kind of cheese? We haven't totally decided yet. Gotta mm -hmm. keep some secrets in my back pocket. Right, right. But we're probably gonna do a combination of both four different cheeses. Right. So. so what are some of your favorite cheeses from natural pastures that you may not mm. necessarily be using for this dish? I'm a huge smoked foreign cost fan, right. for sure. Right. And as well as the Amsterdam. I like the, the bolder flavors that they do. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Now they've won uh, a number of prizes. Are, are those are those two of the prize winning cheeses? That they I, don't I believe the smoked one is their most, one of the more recent ones yeah. that they have. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now we've been talking about you know, uh, just what a rich food place this is, mm -hmm. but also how it's um, a couple of years behind the time and how that's a little bit frustrating for well, for you because you're wanting yeah, to do things that maybe our local market isn't, isn't ready to do here. Right. Um, what would you like to, what local product would you really like to go to town on? Like maybe there's a, there's a client out there just waiting for you to like say what this is. So what would that be? As I mentioned before, I mean, I'm really, yeah, I'm a huge fan of bison yeah. and I would love to incorporate bison more into it instead of using the basic standard beef that we always use at weddings and events. Mm -hmm. So I would love to use that more in our stuff. Um, some of the new producers that are coming out now, the yogurt for instance, I would love to get them involved and make dressings and all that kind of lovely stuff that you can make with yogurts. And, I mean there's there's a number of different ones, edible, edible, the herbs and the edible flowers that are available in this valley. I mean, just and you're finding that people aren't ready for that kind of stuff yet? They are but they're still a little timid and they still want to have their beef. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beef, chicken, salmon, and people don't want to deviate from that. Right. So slowly See, but surely, it's, it's getting there. So one of the things that uh, that I heard was that uh, uh, one of the reasons that, that the flavor people talked to you was because you have a reputation for actually sourcing local stuff. And that's what Flavors mm -hmm. is about. It's about local, it about is. food in this region, the Campbell River, Comox Valley region. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a bit about that? Like, why do you do that? We like to intertwine a lot of local stuff with our ingredients when we're doing it. So into our menus, we incorporate that. And the reason why is because it it doesn't matter where, if you get a tomato from your backyard, it tastes so much better than if you get a tomato at the grocery store that's mm -hmm. been shipped from California and sprayed 15 times. It may cost you a little bit more, but it's going to taste like a tomato that we remember from ch from childhood. I mean, I'm aging myself there, but and it's, there's so many other wonderful products in this valley that are right in our backyard. I mean, I, I know the gentleman who grows my tomatoes, for instance, mm -hmm. and I, I think having touch with the farm and seeing it on the vine before we use it is so important. It? But isn't that more expensive? It is, but I think the quality of the food at the end of the day is completely worth it. Mm -hmm. And I think it offsets it. I'm not saying every item needs to be sourced from the valley, but if you can get you know a good core component, mm -hmm. then it would be a brilliant thing, for sure. So, you know, besides working with natural pastures, uh, what are you looking forward to at the flavor event? I'm just looking forward to being in, you know, a group of 500 visitors who are coming to taste all the food, plus being all the chefs, all the producers, and having that passion all in one area. Mm -hmm. Which I think will just, it's just going to be amazing energy coming from that. It's pretty Small incredible. Space. 500 yeah. people, they've sold out. It's three weeks before the event yeah. and they've sold it's out. It's a brilliant thing. Well, it's a great team working on it though. So yeah. Hats yeah. off to them for sure. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing what and tasting what you do. I'm, I'm going to be there. Save one for you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And um, if you haven't got your tickets to uh, the Flavor event, there, there are a couple of contests out there. Mm -hmm. We're hosting one at eatdrinkcomoxvalley.com. Um, 
Uh, Union Street Grill has a frequent flyer program right now where you can, if you eat there a lot, you may win a, a family pass. I encourage you to check that out. If you can't make it this year, uh, be here next year. It's going to happen again. It is. We have our way. It will happen again next year. So. Okay, thanks a lot, Don. Yeah, thank you. And thanks for watching.